Will you be watching the last total eclipse of the 21st century on April 8th? Vision experts from UT Health RGV urge caution when observing this natural wonder, as looking at the sun without the proper protection can permanently damage your eyes. It's awesome. It's a wonder of nature that you really want to capture but be safe. It can cause a solar burn in the actual center part of your retina, which it has holds all the cells that we have to see. Looking directly at it, it'll be more central damage here in the center. It can lead to central vision loss, distorted vision, um, vision changes in color, but a lot of times it is a permanent change that happens to the tissue. Be sure to look only through eclipse glasses with a filter that meets the international standard. The international standard for the eclipse glasses is, an, is called an ISO 12312-2 and you are seeing them everywhere. You want to make sure, of course, um, preferably that they're from a reputable company, right? You want to look at them to make sure there's not any defects. So a new pair is always better, but you want to make sure that there's no scratches or holes on the actual foils of them. Because once there's a wrinkle or a tear, you want to get a new pair. Any moment that the eclipse is happening, and after total, you know, totality, you want to make sure you're wearing them. Look straight. Don't look at the sun and put them on. Look straight, put them on. Make sure they're secure, then you look, right? Totality will be the only time that technically you can take them off with safety, but we won't get full totality in the valley. We'll get about 92%. Really, you're gonna keep them on if you're gonna look for it. And when you're gonna remove them, look away to remove them, okay? Can I use my sunglasses? No, definitely not sunglasses, not over the counters, not prescription sunglasses. Technically, if you use your devices, you're still not supposed to look at that. Telescopes, magnifiers, they don't have the filter to protect. Make sure to take precautions for babies, children, and pets. If you're gonna have your children outdoors for an eclipse, one, they're a lot less likely to keep them on. So you wanna make sure that they're fast and secured. If you think that there's a risk they're not gonna be, it's better just to keep them indoors. You can enjoy it because you have more control. The other thing is there are other safe ways. There's a pinhole device where you can use a piece of paper and the shadow and watch it that way. That's how I would watch them when my kids were smaller. Of course, if you notice any changes of vision after on, there's any question, please come and see us. Don't hesitate. The UTRGB Planetarium will be hosting a viewing event at the Edinburgh Sundial on April 8th. Read more at utrgv.edu slash news.